Hey guys, this is Danny. This is my first YouTube video. And as you can see by the title, it's going to be primarily a channel focused on dividend investing. And just to get us started, we're going to talk a little bit about what dividends are. I assume many of you came across this video because you already have some experience or some knowledge on what stocks is or are investigating for yourself on what stocks to invest in. And so dividend stocks are just stocks that pay out dividends. Um, meaning that a company is sharing their profits either quarterly or monthly, quarterly being every three months, and sharing their profits with the shareholders. So you're basically getting paid just for owning that stock. And so today in this video, we're just going to go through my portfolio. I have actually two accounts. I have a Robinhood account, which is my main account, and I have a Roth IRA, which is in TD Ameritrade. And I just want to go over what stocks I'm holding, why I'm holding it, and maybe you get, guys get some benefit from knowing that, uh, learn from my failures and from my success. But really, I just wanted to start this YouTube channel just to share you guys, share with you guys my journey. I'm really passionate about this stuff, like dividend investing. I think it's great. I think everyone uh, should start as soon as they can. But to also just get knowledge first, don't just throw your money into whatever. And don't just listen to YouTubers and invest on what they say. Always have to do your own research, do your due diligence. But for now, okay, so let's jump right into it. Uh, we're going to take a look at my Robin Her Robinhood portfolio first. I'm screen recording and I'll make sure to put it either on the right or left side while you guys watch me talk about it. Um, so we're getting right into it. Uh, right now, my portfolio is sitting at $2,436. You can see we had a red day today. Uh, it wasn't the best day in the market, but also I'm in a swing position, but I don't really want to dive that much into that in this video. I do want to concentrate mainly on just dividend investing. Um, my lift position isn't really even my money that I have in here. You see my equity value is at 1128 but most of that is money that I got from Robinhood Gold. So I do have Robinhood Gold. And I use that basically just to swing trade, but that'll be a topic for another video. So we're going to skip through this and not really pay too much attention to it. Right now, we'll dive into Realty Income, uh, which is ticker symbol O. Right now, it's at $81.91. Uh, we can see here, six shares, uh, average cost of 76, 77 and 60 cents. Sorry about that. Uh, so today's return, $13. They actually had their earnings announced today. And so this one had a big jump today, pre-market, and, and then our total return for this one is at $25.89. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite ones. This is a monthly paying dividend stock, and it's one of my favorite holdings. I, it might be my largest holding, actually. Uh, after that, we have Home Depot, which is at, you can see there on the screen. I'm not trying to take too much time into this, so I'll kind of go a little bit faster in this. Um, and kind of explain why I'm in it. I only have one share of this. You see my average cost at 227 with a total return of $18. Uh, I currently work also as a contractor, so I shop a lot of Home Depot. I believe in Home Depot. I don't think it's going away anytime soon. So I did invest in Home Depot. Next we have McDonald's. Uh, my total return for this is $20.08 uh, with one share. And Everyone loves McDonald's or love and hate relationship at this point, but you can't you can't deny it. McDonald's does pretty good. It's solid, and it's not going away again anytime soon. So as you can see, these are stocks that I believe in, stocks that I think aren't going away anytime soon, and so that's primarily what you kind of want to focus on. Uh, next we have Johnson and Johnson, uh, the family company. You know everybody knows the commercials. And so they're, they're pretty good, they're pretty popular as well, and they've been doing great with their dividend, paying it out and increasing it. And so we have one share, total return of $19.88. Next, next we have BP, uh, British Petroleum. You know, this one, uh, the oil market in general has been going down uh, the last couple of weeks. It's been pretty bad. Um, I have four shares of this, total return of $7, I mean negative $7.70. So this is my first red stock that we have in this account. Next we have JP Morgan and Chase. Uh, I just really believe in Chase in general as a bank. I think they're one of the best banks. Uh, total return this one's a negative a dollar and nine cents, one share. But I do think this is a company that's gonna keep going. It's one of the best banks like I said. They have uh, 
great front office. That's um, their CEO and all that. So I believe in them. After that, we have AT and T. AT and T, I mainly got because of all the videos that I've seen prior to me starting, uh, saying that they have a great dividend as well, and they're very good at paying it out. Um, I'm not a customer of AT and T, but I do believe in them as well. I don't think they're going away anytime soon. Uh, I have three shares of that uh, with a total return of two dollars and seventy nine cents. Next, we have Stag Industrial. Uh, Thirty two dollars and fifty one cents is the price right now. Total return of seven dollars and eighty five cents. Four shares. And Stag Industrial is another um, like realty income. It's another real estate company, uh, and so I like REITs personally. I like real estate companies. They pay most of them pay monthly dividends, so that's great. I think this one's a monthly dividend too. Uh, we could take a look at that. Uh, you can see my history here of all the dividends that they paid out. Uh, I don't think Robin has that information, but. You can see here the dividend yield. All that information, like I said, you can find really in any any stock investing app nowadays. So, but we'll get into that later. Like I said, I don't want to make this too long. Next holding is Target, one position, total return of uh, four dollars forty four cents, and dividend pending for March tenth. Next we have Capital One, my current bank. I'm a customer of both Chase and Capital One, uh, so. I do love these stocks, these banks. Banks are always good to invest in, actually. And their dividend um, payments are great as well. Um, total of $6.29. Next, we have Starbucks. Uh, we'll get into it in another video of my swing trades. I just started doing swing trades. And Starbucks was one of my first swing trades. Um, I actually made a profit of around $25 to $30. I don't quite remember. Uh, but it's also a company that I bought just for the dividends as well so I only have one share right now but like I said I'll review my swing trades in another video right now I need total return of 40 cents uh, and then I have discover another credit card that I use you see like it's mainly stuff that I use on the daily ba basis or um, stuff that I'm a customer of and this one another dividend payment March 5th one share and total return of a dollar and 79 cents and now we have SKT Tanger Outlets. This was actually one of my favorite stocks for a long time. It's been doing really bad recently, mainly because of all the online shopping that is being done now. Not a lot of people like going um, in person to shop nowadays. So this has been taking a hit. It may be my worst performing stock right now. It's only a uh, loss of $13.11. I have five shares of this. I do plan on holding it a little longer, but I most likely will get out eventually. Um, just because, like I said, like Amazon is basically the murder of, of um, actual places to shop. Online shopping has just taken over. And next we have Exxon and Mobile, another oil company. Like I said, this has been taking a hit. We can see the week, month, like it's just been dropping. But they also have a really high dividend yield, which isn't always the greatest thing. Um, like you really have to do your research on this. I'm thinking about getting that on this too because... Um, they, I feel like they're really focused on paying their dividends and it eats up a lot of their profits and so I don't know I'm not I'm not a huge fan of Exxon Mobil right now I'm not even sure why I bought this to be honest with you guys but just one share uh, loss of $5.82 uh, next we have Coca-Cola right everybody knows Coca-Cola a great company as well they've been along for a long time always increasing their dividend as well so I want to add more shares to this actually so over time, you know, a lot of these are just one share for now. Like I said, I've only been doing this for four months, and so I'm just trying to get in the flow of it. Next, we have Ford. I just bought another share of Ford. The tr uh, the price has been dropping recently. Uh, total return of negative four dollars and ten cents, five shares, and a dividend paid in March second. Next, we have Wendy's. We're nearing the end of it now. Uh, Wendy's is one of the ones that I bought more recently. Uh, it's one share, a uh, gain of $1.94. They just came out with news of their breakfast. and I haven't tried it. I probably won't. I'm not a fan of fast food, but a lot of people do enjoy it. So that's why I'm invested in them. And then BlackBerry. BlackBerry, to me, is this, this is more of an emotional buy. Uh, I believe in BlackBerry. Not a lot of people do. Uh, I don't know how many people know this. They recently just stopped making phones, and so their phone-making business is dead now but they're more of a security based company now and I believe in them heavily so long live BlackBerry. Okay. Okay. 
Also, uh, I forgot to mention before we get out of Robin Hood, I did have one more position. I just got out of it today. Uh, it was LB, L Brands. Um, I got in this one at a pretty good price, around $17. It's, and it's at 2342 uh, but the reason I got out, it just had news that they were selling uh, Victoria's Secret. So the two companies that they had was Victoria's Secret and um, Bath and Body Works. And so now it's just Bath and Body Works. So uh, after they sold off um, Victoria's Secret, I decided that it wasn't worth holding on to anymore. So I did sell for a profit. I made like $10 off of um, O Brands and plus dividends that I got, but we'll go over that uh, at a separate time. Uh, I also did just want to look at my Roth IRA. I don't want to spend too much time on this one. Uh, it's with uh, Thinkorswim TD Ameritrade. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five positions in this one, all being ETFs. Uh, this one is a different strategy. These are all long-term plays, and it's not a lot of picking individual stocks, ETFs, are a whole bunch of stocks combined into one uh, single portfolio, so you're invested in a diversity of, of stocks. And so I have SPHD, which is one of my favorites, monthly paying dividend stock. I have SPY D, SPY G, VTI, and Bexis. And so you can see here, um, my P and L open is 20.43, so it's made me 20 20 dollars and 43 cents so far. And I don't plan on studying any of these positions. Uh, I'm fairly young, and I can't take this money out until I'm. I believe was either 49 or 59 and a half. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's our, one of those two. Uh, and then uh, Roth IRA is basically you'll be able to take this money and none of it will be taxed. Uh, so if you're looking for that, there's a separate account that you could try to open up to, not get taxed on this, but keep in mind that you can't take it out until you're older of age. And with that being said, that's all we wanted to go over with this video. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe if you want to keep watching more content. Uh, we will be trying to do more videos like this. Uh, not as long and as extensive as this. Um, more of a weekly updates. Uh, monthly updates for sure, just to show you guys how I've been doing throughout the month. Uh, and then weekly updates to show you uh, the movements I've done. Uh, an update on my swing trades. Uh, explain more how robin hood gold works too in a separate video uh, but for now that's it so thanks for tuning in